Hey everyone, you are watching Watch Sandy, the channel that helps you find the best movies on streaming, and today I am talking about the 10 best racing movies of all time. I just watched Fast 10, and it was amazing. Whenever I see cars running on the track or on the streets, it makes my heart race. And I want that rush of adrenaline again, so I searched all the platforms and found these 10 movies, which are not only about racing but also action-packed, suspenseful, and exciting. So without further ado, let's start with movie number 10, The Fast and Furious. Have you seen the new Fast and Furious movie? It was pretty crazy. I know it's hard to believe that it all started with a simple street racing movie, but the franchise has come a long way since then. I think it's because the movies are so much fun. They're always full of action and excitement, and the characters are great too. I love the family dynamic between Dom and his crew. It's what makes the movies so special. I can't wait to see what they do next. I'm sure it'll be even crazier than the last one. My next pick is Ford vs. Ferrari. James Mangold crafted this Oscar-nominated story about a team of American and British engineers hired by Ford to build a race car that could defeat the famed Italian racing team in 60s. Matt Damon and Christian Bale were at the top of the bill for this one, supported by a great ensemble that includes the Punisher's John Bernthal, Outlander's Katrina Balfe, and Josh Lucas. It's a gripping tale, blending history, design, and character. At number 8, we have a classic movie, Days of Thunder. Tom Cruise reunited with Top Gun director Tony Scott for this effective and pulse-pounding early Tom Cruise movie. Days of Thunder was also a tremendous hit for Nicole Kidman, who broke into the American market with this dazzling, fast-paced narrative about racing rivals Tom Cruise and Michael Rooker, who find brotherhood and redemption after a major accident. At number 7, Speed Racer. The Wachowskis' crazy hyper-color big-screen adaptation of 1960s anime Speed Racer flashes like lightning, delivering a unruly special effects. Emile Hirsch stars as Speed Racer, a young man whose life and love has always been racing. Born into the business, at the helm of his Mach 5, Speed Racer turns down an offer from the head of Royalton Industries, he inadvertently uncovers a corporate plot to fix races. With Christina Ricci as Trixie and Matthew Fox as Racer X, this fantastical cartoon llama is Formula One family fun. My number six pick is Two Lane Blacktop, a road movie and racing film in one, starring music star James Taylor and Beach Boys drummer Dennis Wilson. Two Lane Blacktop now celebrates cult status decades later. This funny, poignant trek follows a mechanic and a driver who race and maintain their 1955 Chevy, traveling across America with no particular destination in mind. In the years since its release, it also becomes notable as a time capsule for US Route 66 during the pre-interstate highway era. At number 5, Talladega Nights' The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. A lot of laughs can also be found on the racetrack, as demonstrated by Adam McKay's Talladega Nights, one of comedian Will Ferrell's magnificent, quotable heyday films. Ferrell stars as numbskull NASCAR idol, Ricky Bobby, a simple successful idiot who falls from grace after he finds defeat at the hands of a French Formula One champion. The film's all-star ensemble includes John C. Riley, Gary Cole, Michael Clark Duncan, Leslie Bibb, Jane Lynch, and Amy Adams. Next in our lineup we have, Rush. The MCU's Chris Hemsworth and Daniel Bruhl star in this finely tuned sports drama from Oscar-winning director Ron Howard about the famed rivalry between James Hunt and Nicky Lauda during the 1976 racing season. Strong performances and exciting, exhilarating racing scenes help push Rush past the finish line, so if you're looking for a more recent movie and you've already caught the Oscar-favored Ford vs. Ferrari, check out Rush on Netflix as it flew under most folks' radar. At number 3, Grand Prix. Winner of three Academy Awards, and directed by the Manchurian candidates John Frankenheimer, Grand Prix includes real-life racing footage within its reels, adding to the authenticity of the story. Following four Formula One drivers, with an international cast including James Garner, Eve Montand, Brian Bedford, and Antonio Sabato, Grand Prix takes viewers through a fictionalized version of the 1966 Formula One season. A visually vibrant film, Grand Prix presented racing on the screen, in a way that had never been done before. Again a classic pick from 1975 we have, Death Race 2000. From pioneering authenticity of Grand Prix, to a good old brainless time at the movies with Death Race 2000. 
David Carradine stars in this glorious Roger Corman spectacle of schlock, about a dystopian future society, where a casualty-filled transcontinental road race entertains the masses, becoming our new national pastime. Maligned at first, Death Race 2000, which also stars Sylvester Stallone and the Karate Kid's Martin Cove, is now considered a cult classic. On top of our list we have, Lumans. You've seen that much of this list focuses on the 60s and 70s racing scene, with even Speed Racer being based on a racing anime from that era. Le Mans, starring Steve McQueen, is like Grand Prix in that, it contains real-life racing footage amidst a fictionalized story, though Le Mans also comes with supplemental viewing, in the form of the 2015 doc Steve McQueen, The Man in Le Mans, about the actor's drive to make a movie about his passion race car driving. So those are my 10 picks for best racing movies, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.